County, Kisumu East Sub County, Nyalenda A Ward. And today we are visiting Victoria Agriculture Youth Group, who are doing an amazing job in how to recycle wastewater for sustainable agriculture production. We are going to take you through the process and they are excited to show that youths are not only involved in negative issues, but they are also involved in food production. And stay tuned to see how youths are making real impact in fighting climate change, increasing their household income, while producing more jobs for the youth. I'm your host, Anne Okuno, and this is Sustainable Innovation, your number one YouTube channel talking about climate change and sustainable farming practices as you increase our food. Thank you. So what we basically do we are about uh, uh, fish culture within uh, Kusumu and uh, Kenya tonight. And we are a team of uh, 11 youths, uh, mostly graduates uh, within from the region. So currently our base we are hosted uh, within uh, the Vicina Aqua site in Yalenda. And the Vicina Aqua is uh, integrated uh, sewage treatment and uh, aquaculture and agriculture plant that uh, started in uh, 2018 and currently is under the county government of Kusumu. And uh, we at Victoria Aquaculture Youth Group have been placed uh, to be hosted at that site. So Victoria Aquaculture Youth Group started in uh, 2019, with the, uh, the same number that we are, 11 youth. Right now, uh, 2019, uh, uh, 2021, still operating the site as it is. What are you doing at the site? Yeah. What are you doing at the youth group? So, at the Sinapo, uh first of all, uh, we do a number of things. First of all, we do manage uh, waste, domestic waste that is brought uh, by the municipal, that is uh, Kiwasco. So we take a bit of it and uh, about uh, six cubic meters per day, I treat that waste. Then uh, from uh, that treated water, which we call the permeate, is what we use for fish production, that is uh, mainly fingerlings. Then uh, the wastewater from the fish, that is rich in nutrients we use for agricultural irrigation. Yeah. And also at the same time, we also it's a very sophisticated system. So we teach uh, the local population at the same time. We downgrade the system for any lo any local investor who wish to uh, uh, develop such a system. And uh, what are you doing as a youth group? What is your role as a youth? Group? And what is your main role? What are you doing as a youth? Group? The main aim of your group? What is the scope of your? So, at the Korea Poker to you, first of all, uh, you have to note that at the time uh, when we came together, we came together as a youth who are unemployed, young graduates, uh, who just graduated from our various universities and colleges. So, we were all seeking to find a source of income for all of us. So, one of our activities mainly is to uh, produce and aggregate fish fingerlings. That one we do for both uh, catfish and tilapia that we supply to. Uh, local farmers that's within the uh, neck region as well as in central Kenya and uh, northeast. Number two, we also develop cal different culture systems. Like culture system, uh, we are talking about uh, fish uh, fish farming system from different uh, types. Uh, right now, we are moving uh, towards uh, climate smart technologies where we are developing simple technologies like the race line upon. We have tanks and uh, recycling up the system that we develop for climate. Number three, we are also, as aggregators, we also do very strong marketing for our products. That is the uh, uh, aquaculture inputs uh, from uh, Hapanets and all that, any aquaculture input. And we are developing a strong marketing platform right now for that as well. So, 
how do you uh, how challenging is your work as compared to others and have you seen any benefits in being in this field? First of all, challenges are uh, anything that you do, they, it has its uh, specific challenge. So, first of all, these challenges range according to part of the value chain you think, look at it. And uh, first of all, in production, if you look at production with a sophisticated facility like uh, the circulating aquaculture system, there's a challenge, uh, first of all, uh, getting uh, having a stable power supply. Yeah. You know, our local power supply, the way it goes on and off which is a very big challenge in a, an intensive culture system. Number two is the mechanical breakdown of equipment. Just the uh, maintenance. And first of all, the breakdown itself can cause very massive losses on its own. Then uh, the maintenance cost for this equipment also is another challenge. And also getting this input is also a big challenge, uh, getting them local. Majority of them have to be imported and they are very expensive. And also just getting the financial resource and uh, the technical uh, support, the capacity building also for its own also, uh, challenge again. For the, being a youth group, you know, they say chapter you know, things that the agricultural ventures are something that things that move slow. And uh, it's been a challenge. But uh, aside from that, as uh, people who had the who are jobless and had nothing uh, to no kind of a source of uh, income to even sustain themselves. Right now, at least, we can all talk of something, have something in our pocket that we can survive on. So that's our major plus. And also, be just being able to be given uh, space within aquaculture sphere, especially from the directorate, who have, who have given us a lot of support, given, allowing us to host us in a facility, sophisticated facility like this. You know, for us to be able to create that space that we want for ourselves without any major interference. I think uh, that's a major, a major support. So I really think now from there, the director has given the youth an opportunity to showcase their talents. Yes. And now, how are these youth using this talent? Are you also training other people? And are you reaching out to other youth so that they can learn this kind of sophisticated method? And what are you doing about it? Yes, uh, as I can say, the director has really capacity built us, they supported us really well. First of all, by allowing us to be together affected. Number two, reaching out to you. Uh, we've uh, also tried to reach out to many youth, first of all, from training them here through attachment and the internship programs that they, when they come here. Number three, we also try to reach out to, to youth all over the soon, just to get a feel of what they're doing and uh, being able to network with the youth. Uh, from other uh, sub-counties. And that one we did, uh, I think, if you can remember, the, on the 20th of uh, July, on the clock, we did organize a uh, Sumu Youth in Aquaculture Conference that was held in uh, 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 Sumu Hotel. We were part of the team, Victoria Aquaculture Youth Group, that organized that uh, uh, conference, supported by county government of Sumu, LDP, and uh, GIZ, and it was a very successful uh, uh, conference. Money that money to bring all the youth together in Africa. Number two, also maybe. <laughs> yeah, how how are you reaching out to the youth? You know, outside here we have both learned and unlearned youth. Yes. Education level might be, mm -hmm. and yes, you have a conference. What about the ones who are illiterate in the community? And yet they are really interested in the aquaculture, aquaculture as a business. Remember, within the Lake region, we have Lake Victoria, yes. which can always provide water. What are you doing to tap into those and tap opportunities in the youth sector? So, uh, our group is very diverse. First of all, I did mention that it's from both the major leaders. So, and the kind of systems that we develop doesn't uh, include graduates only. Like uh, building a system like this, we need methods which we, here we involve the youth who are not even a, a part of aquaculture directly. But we might need to talk to them, help us, uh, whenever we get a job that involves uh, 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 building these facilities that uh, we've done about five in Kenya right now. So we have a carpenter that we did uh, assist us. That we pick, uh, these are youth that we pick to help us develop this system, giving them some kind of job, yeah? Uh, we work with the uh, electricians, which we have within, the youth uh, with the certificate level training 
some uh, these methods that we work with. These are fundi that have learned or from phone. And also in the border border transport that we do deliveries for fingerlings and all that. Yeah. And number three, also we are uh, in uh, cage farming. We also do a lot of training to cage farmers, which majority of them are youths who are getting into this cage farming within the lake. And majority of them don't have uh, in-depth knowledge on fish farming. So, like for example, in the Kisumu here, we do, we've done a bit of training in Dunga, cage farmers. We've done in Ogal Beach and a lot in CI, both for you and everyone else, both, uh, both gender. And then, as you are going through this process, mm -hmm. what are the technical capacities that somebody requires to get this thing running? And apart from that, if you compare this kind of fish farming or aquaculture and the normal one, what are the advantages and disadvantages of each? Uh -huh. This one, another facility is a hatchery. So, for a hatchery, what matters is about the quality of uh, fingerlings that you get from uh, the facility. And uh, with a facility like this, we have a recirculating aquaculture system, which is uh, encouraged a lot in uh, hatchery, that helps you control the parameters with which you culture your fish. So, this one helps you manage the kind of output that you get. Yeah? From uh, the pea, from the seed, you have a quality product. This one will help you even as a farmer manage your production to get a quality output at the end of it. So it starts from here with a facility like this that uh, you, we are able to monitor almost every parameter of production. We are able to confirm that the kind of the quality of seed that we produce will enable the farmer to be in business. Mm -hmm. you, uh, we say that. Uh, what you have, the knowledge and the skill, whatever uh, knowledge, little, little or big knowledge you have, or skill that you have, that's the starting point. Do something with it, and the, whatever support that you need will follow up. I hope you've learned something during this episode, and you've seen how youths are really trying and giving it their best. They have not sat down, but looking for opportunities. Please, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share the link with your networks. Together we can make a difference. And leave for us a comment. These youths are ready to make a difference and change your life. Reach out to them. You're going to have a real time and you're going to enjoy. Thanks and stay tuned for the next episode as we'll be on recycling wastewater for aquaculture development. Thank you.